Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide and we're on May 11th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew. Looking at the space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, plasma filaments, solar flares, earthquake updates. Welcome. Thanks for joining me today. Starting out here looking at the sun. The last 48 hours incoming images Nothing new to report since the CMEs, plasma filaments, outgoing images, calm plasma erecting though, both northern and southern hemisphere, as well observing a fiery region coming in from the backside in which we have been expecting. Looking here, multi-spectrum light, you can see everything that's going on. And our sun is definitely more awake than it was even just last week. This week has been momentous, pretty much, for space weather watchers and lovers. No Earth-facing coronal holes. And we are expecting that space weather late night tonight. Incoming CME. So we're looking at a real-time solar wind that has, uh, has ramped right down 317 kilometers per second. That is ahead of the stream that will be coming tonight. Looking here, the solar flux remains jagged. The geomagnetic activity remains low. Lasco 2 and 3 showing no new sun events. Nor uh, sun diving comets which was pretty cool yesterday. I mean, we don't get to see them every, you know, all the time. Uh, having a look here at our Schumann resonance for today, as it is a power of 42. Small spike there, indeed. Quality of 7.1. Have a look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours, and most recent here, 3.7 east of Oregon. It had a 10-kilometer depth. As well, White City in New Mexico is still seeing 3.2, 3.3. As well, Oklahoma today, 2.5, 2.6, 3.1 there. Mexico, uh, California border, 5.1. Mexico, 4.4 there. El Salvador. As well, Puerto Rico is seeing minor earthquakes today, but nothing like what they've seen kind of quieting down through the Caribbean plate. South America, activity coming back here, 4.5, 111 kilometer depth. As well as San Antonio de Recobros, 4.3. Calama, and a 3.8. Overlooking the African plate, rare earthquake here. Albania yet again, 4.9. 10 kilometer depth. That's the second time in, I believe, the last two weeks that they've had a shaker there. As well, 4.9 here, Indonesia. 4.6, Philippines. Papua New Guinea with a sizable 5.4 at 117 kilometer depth, as well seeing a 4.9 active volcanic region there. As well, Wallace and Fortuna, 5.7. So that's the largest earthquake today. And our deepest was 117, or sorry, 238 kilometer depth, South America. Quiet through Japan. 4.7 reported here, Kuril Islands. As well, 4.6 here in Russia. As well, a 4.7 here towards Greenland. 
Zevernaya Zemla, 4.7. So that's the Arctic Plate looking at some action. That's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Quick update. Let's have a quick look at the last seven days across the world. Reds being the latest, or sorry, red being the largest and blue being the smallest. And this is the last seven days. I'd say too quiet through South America and Antarctic Plate as well. Too quiet through North America and Alaska. And we're kind of missing the deep earthquakes that should be popping off. And I'm sure we're going to see them tonight. Especially when we're being smacked by that space weather. Late night tonight. And into early tomorrow morning. So stay aware and prepared, my friends. That's the last seven days for earthquakes. I do believe we're expecting something big here in North America. But I, we kind of say that every week, don't we? But we need to be aware and prepared. That's what it's all about. Having a quick look, USGS, uh, just wanted to give you a quick look on all the smaller earthquakes, microquakes, and as well swarming areas through Ridgecrest, Ridgecrest, sorry, as well Trona, California, moving northward. Mammoth Mountains seeing quite a bit of shakers in, in the area, as well east of Mono Lake. This is the last seven days for earthquakes in the region. Definitely some pressure coming up and being released throughout all steamboats and geysers across North America and fault lines. Let's have a look at the most recent volcanoes to update. Simaru, Indonesia, as well Dokono, Indonesia, Ibu, and Pekaya, Guatemala, Nevada, Stachilian, and Colombia, Sabancaya in Peru, as well, Fuego, Guatemala, Soufriere in St. Vincent, Sinabung, Indonesia, Sangay in Ecuador, and still many flood and storm alerts across each continent right now as things are starting to heat up in the northern hemisphere and you're starting to get that intertropical convergence. So tornado warnings tonight across Lake Charles, Louisiana, as well, Corpus Christi, Testis, Texas, and southward as that system is moving slowly east-northeast. Now, interestingly enough, I think the center of this system could be Tropical Storm Andres. Still very interesting developments across Central America right now with this storm. I thought it was going to go straight north, and they were forecasting it to go west here. You can see Tropical Cyclone Andreas forecasted path. But even in the last few images of satellite imagery, you can see it kind of disappears. But I know where it went, and I think it went northeast. And it's going to head straight over Mexico right now and into the Gulf states and wreak havoc through the Texas state and quite possibly through all Gulf states in the next couple of days. So heads up, Gulf states, you could have quite an intense system ahead of you. Have a look here at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteorth and Morning Dew. Starting out here at Calgary, Alberta. Cool, very cold temperatures, still unseasonably cool and dry. We got rain, but that was pretty much it. Three or four days of it, and that's it forecast here you can see that just that system interestingly moving straight north there over Colorado and I do believe they could be that low pressure system tropical cyclone Andreas we'll see we'll see in this forecast we'll see what happens I mean we're already seeing the intense weather through Texas due to the cold front coming through but if this low pressure system runs in there you could be in for a storm Cold temperatures looming and straight across North Canada and eastern parts of the province, Atlantic Canada. As well, long line of moisture here. Atmospheric river stretching pretty much from Carolina State to almost Spain. Let's get that barometric bars on there. High pressure, low pressure. 
So yeah, the, the systems keep coming into Europe. So not much is going to change there for the next four or five days. It's going to be rainy and unseasonably cool. Things are heating up across the West Indies. And now we have forecasted cyclone from Meteor Earth saying a Sunday as it starts to form. And then most likely we'll be making landfall Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday. Stay tuned to the morning dew. These forecasts can change overnight. Overlooking Malaysia, Southeast Asia, lots of rain moving through China and as well Japan this week. Long line of moisture, big system roaring out of there. We'll be heading towards Korea as well. Daily evaporation rains through Indonesia. High pressure ridge, pretty dominant over Australia going to usher away all the rain on the east coast but on the west coast you could see some systems moving in in the long range forecast cool temperatures still looming around parts of southeast australia and some snow new zealand watch for that vigorous system to come through friday into saturday fellow new zealanders this is going to be an interesting system as we get a huge intertropical convergence happening right over you. Right over you. Long line of moisture. Interesting. Very interesting. High pressure ridge over the Pacific, keeping things dry. No major weather systems to talk about. South America. Daily evaporation rains could be heavy towards Venezuela, Colombia, and Panama. No real changes since yesterday. Same with Africa. No major changes in the forecast since yesterday. I want to thank everybody for watching today. I'm going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Pointing out the huge systems spinning around the hemispheres especially the Southern Hemisphere right now, versus the Northern. Thanks for watching today. If you made it this far in the video, God bless your heart. And thank you so much. Don't forget to smash that like button. Share with your friends and family from around the world. Make sure you hit that notification bell too. And set your updates to all. Notifications to all so you don't miss an update. I see a lot of people still not getting updated. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the